Hello, I'm Brian, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Long War. Uh, this time we are going to jump into a landed raider. Uh, this is a research mission for the month. And here is the team that I've set up uh, between the last episode and this one. We have made no changes to it. Uh, so basically, uh, the finance armor on uh, assault, uh, our commanding officer, our gunner, and then our engineer, and then uh, Rocketeer. Basically, this uh, this is the best team I can field uh, as of right now. And uh, I really wanted these uh, to be really done. Like, um, if we botch up this one, <laughs> then the campaign is basically over. Like, our A team is gone, and then we no longer have any A team, and then we just have a bunch of specialists and. Uh, and our rookies as well but uh yeah right now we're still ha uh, seeing some some problems with our rank ups uh so the the second squad size up is not available to us like for a very long time uh, which is bad which is bad especially when we are continuing to use our shift but uh, the shift is uh, trying to carry us pretty hard in this uh in this campaign so yeah i i'm not blaming them uh, i'm just saying that because of the situation uh our heavy use of shift is somewhat stunting our uh the growth of our barracks but it is what it is uh, we're trying to get through it and uh, especially for this mission so we'll be very careful on this one a very tricky map as well so let's go putting down in Mexico for this mission. It looks like the UFO landed out in the boonies. We need to secure the surrounding area and eliminate any hostiles before they threaten the local population. All right, Operation Code Shroud, uh, UFO landing site for Mexico. Uh, this is a medium UFO uh, that's landed. Uh, all right, let's launch. Yeah, tricky, tricky. HQ, this is Big Sky. We're in position. Where are we? Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. I don't like this landing. Like, uh, so this map, you can either land like here, up on the hill, which is bad. <laughs> Um, you can land like here, you can land like on this hill, which is extremely bad. It was like in the middle of the, of the map and you have very bad cover, very bad line of sight. Uh, the UFO is here sitting down in the valley. Uh, one of the better landing sites are actually across this one and this one as well. Uh, especially uh, on this side uh, because the cover is a little bit better and uh, basically your enemy comes through from one side of it however it is what it is uh, I'm not sure if I should just try to make my way across it or not let's see if we have any uh any contact on the LC no Uh, funny enough, I never liked fighting this map on this side. But it's what it is. We can set up around this place and then wait a couple of turns so we can slowly move our way across and then move and hit here. I don't know. Yeah, this is a very, <laughs> very welcoming site, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> Uh, all right. We move like so. I'm on it, Commander. Roger, tracking. Actually, we'll just uh, try to stick together for the moment. Just see if we can determine whether that is uh, this one is a trapped uh, UFO or not. We 
。OK， 没有逃。Ah, the enemies are there. All right. All right. We try to get across. Uh. Uh, steady the rocket. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. Can we hit them? We cannot. Crap. <laughs> what a stupid map. Man, I hate this map. I can't see them here. Can I see them here? Do you see them? You do. Okay. Is there someone behind them? Doesn't look like it. Can I somehow? All right. So how is this not a hit? Like, how is this not a hit? All right, I I understand this is not a hit, but how is this not a hit? <laughs> how about I come and rock it? Uh, yeah, that that is not good. Like even here, it is not a seeing, but here, but you see some of them, huh? Okay. Good hit. We move here. We'll do no sudden movement. We we'll just try to. The try part is pretty. <laughs> Maybe I should have put a uh, holo targeting on it. Yeah, that passed on me. But still, this is pretty dumb. If I move here, I can only see one of them. If you are sitting here, you see both of them. Fun. If I sit here, I see none of them. <laughs> All right, fine. I guess. I'm being a pain. I appreciate it. <laughs> Can I curl you up and then just blow you like that? Let's see what this does. It's unlikely to kill. Oh, you killed one of them. Excellent. Can I come here to see you? Yeah. Do I come here and see you? I do. All right. Maybe not. All right, suppress. It will hide and then shoot us again. Yes, I. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Okay. And all of them go for stealth mode. Are you around? I don't think you're around, but 
All right, again. Uh, put holo targeting on you, and then get my sniper to finish you. Yep. All right. I'll, I'll I'll sit around. I guess there is another seeker around, and uh, we don't know where it is. Oh man, I hate it. But at least uh, we are not hearing hearing uh, chrysalids, and we are not hearing cyberdisc. So that means this is not likely to be a uh, trapped UFO, which is good for us. Uh, our options would be to throw a better scanner, try to locate it. Or we can sit around for a couple of turns, see if it comes out. It might be just stuck around here somewhere. We don't know. It could be here. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, let's not play around. We can also take a look at that place as well. Where are you? What? Okay. It doesn't reveal much. But alright. It's fine. I guess. <laughs> like if I stand here, I can't see you. I know the reason why it can't. I'm just saying that this is a very awkward place to fight. Okay, reload, 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 reload. Yeah, we're not going for mail. Milton and uh uh and Finman, sorry, yeah. Heading there now. Moving out. All right, we'll have to uh make our way across it quickly. Hopefully no encounter uh, when we are doing this move because once we get here we will not have the uh, options to retreat and pull back but then this is not a trap UFO we are unlikely to pull away oh my lord really oh Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh man. If I kill these two, these tiles are still not safe. <laughs> all right. Engineer. Uh, can I kill you all? I think we can. I have my hit and run scout here. You guys are going nowhere. All right, motion tracker up. If I stand here, do you see every one of them? You do. I can stand here. It should not have any additional ads put on us. And we can suppress some of them. I think this rocket happens. Yes. I really wanted to just kill them. Come on, one damage. What the? <laughs> Serious? Okay. Uh, alright. Engineer, okay. come here. 
And then an HE to deal with you two. Yeah, like this. Let's not destroy the wall of the... The wall of the... Uh, uh, the UFO, because... It might actually trigger something else. That's just a 79, huh? <sighs> yeah, I know that's gonna happen. It's just... Oh, 77. Jesus. Alright, alright. Come on ahead. Oh, come on! <laughs> Give me a break! Okay, all right. Going in for the kill. Moving to designated coordinates. Come on, please kill this. Man. Oh. For the love of God. Someone's gonna die. Oh. oh my god. All right, all right, focus. Three female and a seeker, right? Yeah, but we'll have to deal with the muton first. Is there a way I can approach you safely? I don't think so. This is a flank though, I mean... Yeah, these two dies this turn. Whether I can make it happen? Not sure. With pleasure. It should. They are tucked it pretty deep too, but I think we focus on this one first. Oh, you're actually in uh, in range of the of the Finn man. Yeah, that's not gonna help. It, Drop down there. I can suppress one of them from half cover. I can shoot one of them pretty... 
Uh, all right. We'll see. Do we want to stay here to shoot? I think that's the question, right? How much damage are you going to do? Six. Unlikely to be enough. This is definitely a flank. Is it too crazy to take? I don't even know. Yeah, let's take a shot. Our shift is not doing so well at this uh, very critical moment. This one is pretty bad too. Yeah, I think we need to. Please take out. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Moving to position. Now. I can move here and suppress both of them. Oh man, this is... I need to kill at least one of them though. But I don't see it happening. I really don't see it happening. It is likely to shoot at a shift, right? If given the chance. Yeah, then we'll take the higher chance a shot then. And then we'll be suppressing that one as well. Oh, I see the... Another... Yeah, that's not good. No, that's not good. We need to... Uh... Oh, <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. We need to move. We need to continue to move there. Uh, can I... Can I try to save the shift or something? Ugh. While also trying to kill them? Tall order, tall order. What is this gonna do? What is this gonna do? Let's hope it is enough. Okay, okay, that's nice, nice.
I can move here, get a uh, height advantage out of it, I guess. But that's a 61 shot. <sighs> you have one more grenade. You can kinda do this. Yeah. Uh, I love to do this, but. That's the only way I can do it. What the f- It won't fucking die. It just won't fucking die. That's affirmative. X ray down. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, this time someone's gonna die. For sure. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. This, this is. I don't deserve to be treated like this. Really, I. This is not a solution, but this is the best I can have. Holy fuck. The hell? <sighs> All right. Kill this guy, please. Please. Target still up.
I have no words. We do have close combat specialists. Okay. I'm not sure what that's gonna do, but. Yeah, someone's gonna die. <sighs> okay, that's a not that. Okay. I don't even dare move. If I move here, I might be out of range. This is stupid. And you can cannot see it for some reason. You have a place you can hide or something. Seriously pissed. I mean, nobody died, but affirmative moving out. No seekers or something, right? Okay. Let's rock. 
Okay. 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 Yeah, caught in a fight around here is always not good. I think uh, we might be, uh, you know, if we are more clever, I am more clever, I would just skirt around the map like that. But. <sighs> okay. Yeah, there is. Yeah, it's just I'm trying to see if the Milton will come back out. I'm not sure it will, but it's very likely to be just sitting there with the command part right now. But we don't know for sure. Oh man, this is so stupid. Okay. 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 Can I see you there? I can. Suppress. Hold our position for now. That's affirmative. I'm on it. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Me están disparando. My my sword is so beat up. Uh, I suppose the engineer can grab the kill because. They're not very likely to get more, you know, a lot of kills, so... Yeah, it's very likely that, uh, just the command part is, uh, is all that's left, so... Oh man, those RNGs. Jesus. You still have one motion tracker, you have none. I think uh, this is safe. We have moved here and nothing happened, so... Heading to that location. Let's do this. Uh, on one HP, uh. Okay. You hear that? Hey, Marta. Moving out. Moving to Overwatch. Oh, eyes on the prize. Just let him go. Get some. Inside. Go 
Good copy. Moving on target. Yeah, get Got close. Moving. Just get close. I'm rolling. Let's see what we can do afterwards. Orders confirmed. Moving out. What's making that noise? Seems like it's very deep. See if that is a trigger? No? Yeah, we'll kinda save our motion tracker until we moved in. I think. Maybe unwise, but... They could be here, they could be inside. That door is not open. Alright. We'll slowly approach, I guess. Motion tracker. That is sitting pretty deep. It's inside. Yeah, it's inside. Roger that. Time to motor. Gotta set up. Let's set up. Uh, our sniper here. Move here. You tuck in here. Shotgun move forward. Okay, the plan would be that we uh open from this side. All right, let's see. Yeah, that there. They're very likely to pull back, right? Yeah, it's okay. Alright. <sighs> they just decide to have to be difficult about this. Can I see you from here? <sighs> All right. This is a for sure hit and run. Adaptive bone marrow and muscle fiber density. Okay. You are going to eat two shotguns. I don't think you are going to survive that. Alright, shift move here. 97. Alright. Well, I mean... Good hit. Uh, 
it would take a while to shot, I think. Yeah, hollow tackling up. And then... Move in like this. Yeah, you're for sure going down. Move here. Shotgun. Yeah, if it doesn't work, uh, we'll send, you know, Assault as well. Our Assault is so beat up. 42 days. <laughs> I think it was 42 days. I'm not sure, but... Yeah, it's not that. Uh... 37. We're pretty close. Pretty close. <sighs> Gravely wounded. Right, okay. Yeah, there's nothing to do about this. Uh, hello, 77 AIM Rocketeer. Uh, you are also our first Rocketeer to reach the Surgeon level. I think you are going to put a Shatter ammo. Um, it is iffy though, because if you don't get a good AIM grow from this one, your rocket is not going to be very accurate, right? In that case, I would want a platform stability. So let's talk about this. Uh, Rocketeer on surgeon level, uh, suppression doesn't make sense. Again, uh, Rocketeer is not going to use their guns. Uh, platform stability is that if you did not move, uh, you have plus 10 aim to your rocket uh, on your next turn. Well, not, not not the next turn. Just So basically, if you, you know, uh, on the on the previous turn you move and then steady the rocket and then on the next turn you didn't move and fire the rocket you'll get a plus 10 aim on that uh rocket i don't think you need it though yeah i'll just put shredder ammo here uh, what, what shredder ammo does is that it gives you another shredder rocket so that uh rocketeers are supposed to shoot rockets whether it is Shredder or just normal rockets, they just have to have those rockets available for them to be effective. If not, then uh, they're basically like sitting ducks there trying to use their guns, which is not very effective. So Shredder ammo extends their usefulness uh, throughout a mission. So that is like the best. God. Seven. I I remember like the, the uh, one one aim per rank like 67 76 on corporal and then 77 and then corporal to 78 okay all right uh on this level I think I've talked about this repair go Anyway, so what do we get? Floaters, corpse, finman corpse, muton corpse, some ethereum, some alloys, alien fragments. The way I look at it, even if there is a landed large UFO, I don't think we can do it. Like even in a uh, medium, medium landed, we are we have so much problem with it already. Yeah, I don't think if uh, if a landed large is a uh, presents itself, we are going to do it. No, I don't think so. All right, let's uh, repair some stuff. We don't have the money, so we will sell something for the money. Not happy about this. How long is the repair? Are they just all three days before? Yeah, they are just all three days. Alien computer coming up uh, in four days as well. So afterwards, what do we do? Uh, yeah, we'll wait for it to finish before we do anything, I guess. Foundry is another two days. Okay. Oh my lord.
assault wounded for 37 days. It was stupid. That now I would say this. That position was not good. It's not so not cool. I shouldn't have gone there. But then like rolling a two on a on a grenade and then just have one of the damage eaten by the R. 91% shots that doesn't hit. 80 something percent shots that doesn't hit. 77% shot that doesn't hit. Multiple times against the same target. <sighs> okay. We don't have to rebuild any shift. Check the hangar. Uh, nine days are. Uh. Okay. Uh, anything I need to buy? We're building a scope. All right, Access let's spin. Oh, we need to sell some stuff to start the excavation. How much for that? Forty. Okay. Our first Phoenix Cannon. Nice. Do we have uh, available planes to put it on? This is a uh, Stingray before we move it. Alright, so let's see. There are two more scouts coming towards us. There is a one hunt, I, I suspect, that is coming for us. I suppose I can wait if there is like a, if we deal with another scout then the one hunt and the other scout should not be too much of a concern with us and then there might be another hunt for us as well because we let one of the scout go <sighs> I don't know but the sooner we equip it like the sooner we can take advantage of it. We'll wait for this interceptor purchase to complete before we move a... Or maybe these two to be repaired before one of them to be switched to a uh, Phoenix Cannon, I think. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, check the foundry. First time in the foundry? It's not the prettiest, but some of our more interesting projects will certainly benefit from the adjustments made down here. Okay, so a uh, couple of uh, projects that we should look into, like uh, enhance the ballistics. Uh, so this unlocks a small item for us to put on uh, uh, put on people and if they are using ballistic weapons, uh, for example the conventional weapons we are using now and also the Gauss weapons that will that, that will become available next uh, uh, maybe next month or even the month afterwards uh, it adds plus one damage to, to the weapons uh, very very powerful because we have skipped the laser laser I, I think adds uh, plus one damage to the uh, to the weapons as well. Uh, so this is a a good item to catch up if we uh, did not use the laser weapons at all. Uh, Mac pistol. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think it is like a uh, increase in scoring a critical hit. Yeah, that's not what we are supposed to do. Shift suppression. Uh, we can attach a small item, letting them pin enemy down. 
under a hail of bullets. With a fairly extensive hardware and software upgrade. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I don't remember if the shift requires another small item just to do the suppression or is it just unlocks the suppression? I think I'll just try it. Yeah. Okay. Alright. All Alright. First, uh, enhanced ballistics. I think this I'm going to do because uh, I feel that our firepower is somewhat lacking. Even the shift is starting to not one shot people, and uh, if we want the want our sniper to at least retain some of his uh, uh, usefulness, I think this is like the uh, one of the more important uh, thing that we have to research. Shift suppression, I think we'll also need this, but if it if it just unlocks a small item that we have to insert into the shift to get the suppression ability then that would be bad this one scope upgrade is like a plus uh, a little bit more chance to crit uh it's very useful but it is a long way away from doing that uh alien methodology uh improve the salvage uh these two we are not going to do uh they are they require a lot of uh investments and then they just increase like 20 percent of uh alien alloy sounds good but the problem is uh, it eats up a lot of uh, resources it's basically something that we will never really uh you know uh, never really research uh, unless we are in in for the long <laughs> in for the extremely long war like if you are like t the second year and you still can't finish the game then uh, you you need a lot of uh, materials to do like a plasma a full plasma to to try to catch up with the aliens and that's one thing but i don't think that's going to be useful aircraft boosters this one must be uh must be done uh, it unlocks the floater, uh, 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 floater boost, so it increases uh, the hit, so it can avoid the situation where we just <laughs> hit no shots against the uh, uh, the UFO. Very very important. A new combat system is also worth uh, thinking about. It unlocks first an alloy. Uh, Pad, uh, not an alloy padding, an alloy something that allows the uh, sniper to use increasing both the aim and the critical chance very very good uh, another is it un uh, combine, uh, with the combination of the finman autopsy it unlocks the uh, cam grenade which put exit on target in a radius um, very important when you know uh when berserker shows up uh we will need the we will need the cam grenade uh at that moment it will also help if uh we have some a uh, very tough dr uh enemies uh, that we have to deal with as well <sighs> all right but i think the All right, so this is priority. We'll scrounge out 50 bucks first. We'll sell some alloys as well, I think. Okay, uh, let's see. This one goes first. So, begin. Six days. Perfect. Shift suppression. We have so many shift. I feel like we should... We should do this, yes. Fifteen dollars. Anything else that we should be using or doing? All right. Uh, we'll also talk about this security training armor. 
Uh, so there is a spoiler alert, uh, HQ defense. Uh, so basically XCOM headquarters gets uh, attacked and then it will be a very, very tough mission. And uh, on that mission, uh, aside from random soldiers that you'll get uh, from a pool of soldiers that you selected from the start, uh, you'll also get some rookies, actual rookies. And uh, they, if you don't have, uh, if you have security training armor and security training weapon, uh, the security training weapon requires that you have uh, laser weapons. Um, so if you both have those, and then you have a couple of uh, phalanx armor and also laser weapons, uh, laser rifles available, they will be equipped with uh, not the tech armor, but the uh, phalanx armor and the tech uh, and the laser rifles uh, instead of those conventional ones that <laughs> make them slightly more, less uh, useless, <laughs> I think. But yeah, that's not... Mm. We don't need to worry about it right now. We are not generating enough threat to uh, start something like that. So, yeah. I think we go this one. I think we go this one. The foundry crews now. You can follow their progress remotely from the project queue in engineering. What do we sell? We're gonna sell some sector cops. I don't think the council is uh, requesting them at all. Like, <laughs> they're just a bunch of scumbags. They don't. They don't request those. Not anymore. Uh, power source we can sell, I think. Power source we can sell, yeah. It's fine. Enhanced ballistics. Alright, 75 fragments. The foundry is already warmed up. I'll, I'll save it up first. I'm not sure if uh, alien bio cybernetics requires uh, weapon fragments as well. If it... If it does, then <laughs> that would be disastrous. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Gauss weapon? 42 days, not happening. <laughs> Do we build something else? <sighs> Maybe not. What is this? Flush, right? Yeah, if it is like uh, we'll have to use a part to to give the suppression for it, that would be pretty bad, but I suppose. Okay. Small scout, NOE. It's unlikely to be a bomb. I don't know why. Okay. Contact detected. All right. Okay, I'll update the list first. This is an other research conducted against us. I have a feeling that this is bad. Uh, all right, let's see. Alien resource is 171. Alien Research is 99, Resource Level 3, XCOM Threat Level 2. We'll be dealing with uh, dealing with this one. Uh, and Threat Level 2 are... 1 out of 15 chance that it is going to be trapped. Fun. Alright, Officer Promotion. Forens. Uh, stay Frosty, except. I'm having an uneasy feeling. They have two research against us. This is not good. And yeah, we're missing a alloy plating and, and one phalanx armor as well. This is bad. Yeah, this is very not nice. Wait, so uh, it's what it is. I will set up the team and then. Okay. A diva will be coming with us. Uh, we'll have one assault. 
I can't continue to delay her. Uh, using her. Uh, 11 movement is not something I like, but it is what it is. I'll put Glenn on the battlefield. I think. Yeah, I need a gunner. Look, Miller seems fine. I will send another shift with us. What else? Another engineer? Or the infantry? Anyone that is coming back? Mary is coming back, but I'm not going to send her on this. Volantim, Badencart, a Rocketeer is also available for us if we want to. What if this is a trap that UFO? I'll put a placeholder here for the moment. Uh, 15 hours. So we can spin it down to 4. But if we spin it down to 4 and then there is like a... Uh, like an abduction happening, that would be bad. We don't want this to succeed. Contact detected. I suppose we can't wait. I don't know. This might, This may be incorrect, but... Uh, we can put Declan on. Declan can have a uh, have an LMG with us. Yeah, that's. Is that the is that the way? I think it is. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. Yeah, because we are missing one of my Phalen's armor, uh, we don't have too too many hours to be put on uh, to be putting onto uh, people. We need a gunner, the assault, and the uh, officer to have the protection available for them. All right, marksman scope, and then our frontline gunner saw is okay. Motion tracker, uh, one alloy plating, ah. Uh. Right, of course. Four plus four. Is that, is that okay? No, that is not okay. Alright. We'll set it up like this, I guess. Uh... Alright, this one. Yeah, five plus four, and then this is four plus five. 11 movement is pretty awkward, but uh, it's what it is. Glenn and our sniper, a diva. Yeah, let's just double HE. Let's just double HE. Is that it? Is that double HE? It might not do anything, actually. Yeah, we shouldn't. What if we send Eric instead? Wow, it's so short on engineer. One, one of them got wounded. The smoke engineer. On the abduction. Yeah, it feels like we are very short on engineers. This is the river map. Is the river bad? And it was sitting there. Yeah, I think Glenn would would be okay. Yeah, Glenn would be okay. The um the cover that we want to remove are usually just uh, occasional rocks and uh, wood logs uh, across the ground, and a common HE that is centered on them usually takes them out. If not, we can always just double suppress. We have double suppression. 
and uh, afterwards we'll just have uh, a diva and uh, our new officer Florence to try to take them out I think and also we will have our shift as well he'll be on hit ammo uh, again I think I I looked it up uh, and uh, aside from trapped at UFOs we are unlikely to get uh, Hmm, I was wondering if I should just not use the heat ammo for now. But they have cyber disk, right? Yeah, they, they might have cyber disk. Yeah, uh, it's unlikely they have Mactoid. Uh, I don't think the, the research is there yet. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be putting it up, uh, putting the team up like this. Uh, I think this is okay. Crazy 16 movement. That's funny. Uh, so yeah, we'll have our specialist, uh, Gunner Sutherland, uh, will be using the RMG for us. Uh, the other is pretty standard as well. Uh, not the strongest team, but this is a small scout, so the number of enemies would be a little bit lower uh, compared to a medium. Uh, hopefully this is not a trapped one, uh, unlikely, but there still is a chance, like 1 out of 15 uh, kind of chance that this is a uh, trapped UFO, but hopefully that's not, and then we'll be able to complete it as well. Uh, so, I'll be doing this in the next episode. Uh, thank you for watching, I'm Brian, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.